Refreshing Stories My name is Hiroshi, and I work for a company that's not doing so well financially. As a result, they're cutting our paychecks and asking us to come into the office a few times a week, as opposed to every weekday. I didn't have much work to do, and I had a lot of time on my hands. I figured that I would make the most of my free time and get some exercise by visiting the local pool near my house. As I was trying to plan my day, I received a chat message from my friend, Bunta. Hiroshi, I need your help! Will you come see me right away? What is it, Bunta? Did your wife cheat on you or something? That ain't it! It's a long story, but there's something very terrible happening downtown! Bunta's been volunteering at a soup kitchen downtown to help homeless people in need. And an unpleasant incident took place while Bunta was volunteering. Today we're serving hot soup and some warm rice. Please, form a line and wait your turn. Help! Something terrible happened! What's the matter? Zakiyama drowned in the pond and he needs to be taken to the hospital right away! What? Take me to the pond that you're referring to! Zakiyama was a homeless man that was very popular among the homeless community. He had a great sense of humor and had a lot of knowledge about how to live a safe life as a homeless person. What was he doing that made him fall into the pond? A group of delinquents shoved him into the pond! They're monsters! They tried to kill my friend! What?! That's unforgivable! The same thing happened to me a few days before. I was lucky because I wasn't hurt and got off with just catching a cold. How dare they! They shouldn't go around hurting people like this! Where can I find these kids? I ain't gonna let them get away with this! The thing is, I don't know where they went. Oh no! Well, take me to the pond then, please. I don't remember where the pond is. Then we got nothing on these guys. What are we gonna do? What's your name then? I don't know, or remember. Got a problem then. So that's what happened. Is it possible that the old man imagined the whole thing? I checked with the local hospitals afterwards, and found out that Zakiyama did drown, and that he was staying in one of the hospitals. Also heard a terrible rumor that the delinquents were playing pranks on homeless people, and putting up videos of the bad behavior on TikTok. That's horrific! Don't you think that we should bring the police into this? Already notified him. That was the first thing that I did. The delinquents you're talking about are well known in this neighborhood. They're dangerous. You should stay away from them. The delinquents were from the bad part of town, and they would stay out all night smoking and drinking. They were always in all sorts of trouble. But we can't let them do this to the homeless people! It ain't fair! I'm really worried that they're gonna end up killing somebody someday! It's a complicated situation. Those kids don't come from happy homes, and the streets are the only safe place for them. I can't just send them home. It's not that simple. I'm hoping that the homeless people can figure out a way to get along with those kids. Either way, I can't make any arrests without any evidence. As a police officer, I can only take action if there's a reason to. I can't be a bodyguard for the homeless. They need to figure out a way to protect themselves. I'm sorry that I can't be of help to them. I see. But why come to me then? Well, you're a really good swimmer and diver. I think that we can make good use of your skills. We're gonna disguise you to look like a homeless person, and lure those delinquents into pushing you into the pond. I'm gonna get all that on tape and submit it as evidence to the police. That a brilliant plan or what? You want me to be thrown into cold water? It's January! The water's freezing! I know, but think about all the old homeless people. You're still young, but if another one of them gets pushed into the water, someone could get really hurt. All right, I'm still not sure about your plan, but since I have some time on my hands, I'll help you out. Let me see if I can come up with a better plan. One that doesn't require me to fall into some cold pond water. Really? That's great, Hiroshi! Thanks so much! This is Iwao Noto. He's a gangster. He heard a rumor about what was happening to the homeless people in our town, and came to check for himself. Show me the pond that Zakiyama fell into! I'm very forgetful, and I don't remember where the pond is. There can't be too many ponds around here. Think harder! I'm sure that you can remember. Um... Mm, I'm sorry, but I can't remember. I want to find the idiots that hurt my friend Zakiyama. He's done a lot for me, and I want to repay him. I don't have all day! You need to come up with some useful information! Um... Uh... Ooh! Did you remember something? Do you have some cigarettes on you? Don't try to change the subject! <sighs> Never mind. I'm going to ask around and figure this out on my own. At around the same time, the delinquents were in their usual corner, smoking and drinking. We might be friends, but you still need to pay back the money that I lent you the other day. I know that. I just don't have any money right now. 
I'll pay you back as soon as I can, buddy. What the hell? Then the next time we throw one of the homeless dudes into the pond, you're going with them as punishment. No way! The water is freezing at this time of the year. It's a punishment, remember? But still, that's too harsh. Can someone hand me some booze and some pills, please? I think that you've had enough, Sawa. You should eat something instead. But I'm not hungry. If I had the money, I'd rather spend it on cigarettes than food. I worry that you're too skinny. If you're so worried about Zawa, why don't you bring her some nice food to eat then? I'd like to, but I don't have any money. Meow, guys! Do you have any more of those pills for me today? Hey, Pochiko. How's it going? How many do you need? When was the last time that you took a pill? I'm not sure. Like 24 hours, maybe? I went to sleep after I took the pill, so I don't remember the exact time. I can sell you some pills for 15,000 yen. How does that sound? That's too expensive! I don't have that kind of money! That's not my problem. Are you in or out? Fine. Now I have to pick up some extra shifts at work. Hello there. May I have a word with you guys? Hey, old dude. How much money do you have on you? What do you need the money for? I'm a little short in cash right now. I need some money. Well, why are you asking me? We don't even know each other. I'm not about to give a stranger any of my money. I'm here to ask you some questions. Do you know of a fish pond nearby? One of my friends was walking by the fish pond the other day, and a group of bastards pushed him into the pond and nearly killed him. I'm looking for the bad guys that did this to my friend. Do you have any information that could help me find them? Um, I know nothing! What are you gonna do when you find them? I'm going to make sure that they get the punishment that they deserve, and that they don't do something like this ever again. This is a safe place for us. We don't want any adults coming in here. Could you please leave? I agree. If you're not here to do business with us, like hiring us to find you a nice girl, you need to get out of here. Okay, whatever. It seems that you won't be able to help me after all. I'm leaving now. Don't get yourselves into trouble, though. You don't want to ruin your bright futures by committing a stupid crime. We don't have a future. Now that I had met the delinquents in person, I had to come up with a plan to get them to take responsibility for their actions. It seems that simply talking to them wouldn't work. Talking to them isn't going to help me get through to them. I need a more hands-on approach. I began by looking up their social media accounts to track their daily activities. After looking through their accounts, I found a video showing a boy named Cheese pushing an old homeless man into the pond. I then sent a direct message to the group leader, Nyan. I knew that you were the ones shoving innocent people into the fish pond! I saw the videos that you posted on social media. What you did is a crime, and you left all the evidence online. If you don't want to do a hard time, you should turn yourself into the police and apologize to all of your victims. But Nyan's reply caught me off guard. You're the one that doesn't get it. It was all an act. Those people agreed to be pushed into the water. We paid them to have them appear in our videos. Really? I had no idea. Well, it's the truth. If you don't believe me, you should check with that old man in the video. It didn't justify what Nyan and his friends were doing. But if the people in the videos were getting paid to get shoved into the water, it wasn't entirely Nyan's fault. I shared what I found out so far with Bunta. I'm sorry that I lied to you both. It's true. Those kids paid me 10,000 yen to fall into the fish pond. I wanted the money, so I complied. I can't believe this! You're setting a bad example for everybody! Was it the same for Zakiyama too, then? Yes, I think so. But in Zakiyama's case, he was really hurt, so I panicked. I had no idea that you guys were getting paid to be a part of these shenanigans. Do you see now? I was telling you the truth. We didn't commit any crimes. This was just another business deal. We needed some people to fall into the fish pond, and so we paid them. If we get arrested, the homeless are the ones that are going to be disappointed, because it means that they can't do any more business with us. You're trying to justify your business, but what you're doing is really dangerous, and someone could end up getting killed. We're paying those dirty homeless people and giving them an opportunity to wash their dirty clothes in the pond. We're doing them a favor. If you really want to do some good, you should start volunteering instead of engaging yourself in these stupid activities. How about you start minding your own business? I'm just doing business, and these guys wanted to be a part of it. We're not forcing them to do anything that they don't want to. You pretend to care about these people, but all you do is sit inside your comfortable houses and wish for a better world. I hate this dude. Not only because he's sassy, but because he also kind of has a point. At the same time, Iwa was still trying to figure out who had hurt his friend, Zakiyama. 
He had picked up Zawa on the streets, and was about to take her to a hotel to ask her what had happened to Zakiyama. So, you're a group of delinquents that hide out in one of the side streets downtown, right? I guess you could say that. Tell me what happened to my friend, Zakiyama! I'm sure that you can tell from my appearance, but I used to work for the Japanese Mafia, and I'm about to turn myself into the police soon, so I have nothing to lose. Okay, what's your point? I want to know who pushed Zakiyama into the fish pond. If you tell me the truth, I'll give you all of my money. I have no use for it in prison anyway. Didn't you bring me here to do something else other than talk? I only came here to talk. I'm not interested in starting anything with a brat like you. I'll give you 500,000 yen if you tell me who pushed my friend. Well, I wasn't there when it happened, but... I know that Nyan is the one that organizes the filming of those videos of people falling to the fish pond. He then posts the video on social media and makes money off of them. Give me more details. It's hard to explain, so you can just take a look at the videos from my smartphone. After Iwao got the information that he was looking for from Zawa, he gave her 500,000 yen, as promised. Thanks for providing me with the information that I needed. I'm off to see Nyan. Now that you have a decent amount of cash, I suggest that you start living your life more wisely. You're smart. There's no need for you to get involved in dangerous business dealings. Okay, thanks for the advice. A week later... Hiroshi, I can count on you, right? Yes, you can. I even brought my wetsuit with me. As soon as you have the evidence, you'll call the police, right? I don't want to catch a cold. In the end, I decided to go with Bunta's initial plan of me jumping into the fish pond so that Nyan and his friends could film me. As for the group of delinquents... Oh, it's Zawa! Hey, what's up, Zawa? Thanks for taking my call, Cheese. Well, you never call, so I figured it was important. I'm gonna hand out some money today, so I thought that I'd let you know in advance. I don't get it. Why would you do that? Well, I was lucky enough to be paid a large amount of money from someone. Well, I hope that you didn't do anything dangerous to get that money. Don't worry, I didn't. But I realized something. There isn't anything I want with this money. That's why I'm gonna hand out this money to people that want it. Are you sure about that? Shouldn't you save it for a day that you might need to use it? I'm standing on the rooftop of a really tall building right now. Zawa? I hope you're not going to do anything crazy! If I let go of the money from here and also jump at the same time, I bet the view from up here would be really beautiful! That's dangerous! Zawa, you need to get down from the rooftop! <laughs> you can't do something stupid like that, Zawa! I'm coming over there now! The money is falling from the top of the building! First come, first serve! I don't need the money! You need to listen to me! Take a few steps back and wait for me to come pick you up, okay? Fine. I'll wait ten seconds. One, two... Bye, she's Zawa? I don't know what Zawa's thinking. Did you lend Zawa some money? Aren't you seeing that our good friend threw herself off a building? I don't know what sadness feels like. I'm going to follow Zawa's footsteps soon. I guess she just got sick of this world. I can relate. You guys! Don't you have any compassion? Don't you feel bad about what Zawa did to herself? You're being a little too emotional for my taste right now. I'm not going to hang around with you two anymore. You just don't get it. Okay, whatever. Later, dude. You're going to regret all of this one day. I'm sure of it. You might think that you're cool, but without your friends, you're nothing. You're a piece of shit. What the hell is your problem? I'm done being friends with you. I've had enough of your crap. As for those stupid videos, you should be the one to jump into the fish pond instead of hiring those poor homeless people! How dare he insult me like that? He has no idea what he's talking about. I'm a respected leader on the side streets of this town. After that, Nyan and Cheese went their separate ways. A pissed off Nyan took Pochiko with him to the fish pond. Hey everyone! Today's a special day for you all. I'm going to be the one to jump into the fish pond today. Aren't you excited? I'm going to put on the best show ever! I was also at the fish pond, disguised as a homeless guy. I could hear Nyan's shrieks from where I was standing. Do you realize that people like you are scaring people away? Don't you have anything more decent to wear? Please don't hurt me! I'll let you off if you do one thing for me. I'm scared! Somebody help me! You should wash yourself in the fish pond. Let's go! Nyan then shoved me into the pond, and I ended up in the cold water I was freezing, but I tried to calm myself by telling myself that Bunta would be here any minute to rescue me. What happened to that old guy? He's not coming up from the water. That's weird. The pond's not that deep. 
Most people jump out of the water right away because it's so cold. Maybe he lost consciousness in the water? Do you really think so? Let's just pay this guy and get going. I don't want to get into any trouble. But how are we supposed to pay him if he hasn't come out of the water yet? I know what you did to that poor man, and I got it on video! Who the hell are you? You don't belong here! Mind your own business! What you're doing is a crime! Somebody could get hurt, and I'm calling the police! I ain't letting you get away with this! This guy is so annoying! Yo, small dude! We're not scared of the police! Call them if you want to! I have a lot of friends doing time right now! I thought that calling the police would resolve this! Ah! Bunta, is this all over now? It seemed that Nyan didn't care whether he got arrested or not. That meant that Bunta and I had to come up with another plan to teach Nyan a lesson. We were having trouble coming up with a new plan, but then someone came to help us. I'm not a police officer, and I don't work for them either. Who are you then? I'm a friend of Zakiyama, you idiot! Get into my car! Ouch! You don't have to pull me so hard! Where are you taking me? Somewhere worse than hell. If you beat up a minor like me, you'll be in big trouble! I'm already headed to prison for 30 years. I'm not scared of anything. I'm looking forward to spending some time with you. Ah! Pochico, help me! Help! Will you call the police for me, please? I'm scared of this dude! I'm going now. I'm off to karaoke with my girlfriends. Will you guys help me then? When I asked you to help me, what did you do for me? I'm sorry about earlier. Can I make it up to you by paying you 10,000 yen? Nope. How about 100,000 yen then? Actually, a million yen. Still no. Ah! Iwao forced Nyan to get into his car with him and drove off. You should have told me that you were bringing in that guy to help us. He was great. Just what we needed. Actually, I wasn't the one that called them. I don't know who that was. Really? Hey, you two. What's going to happen to Nyan now? Something really horrible beyond our imagination. Oh, jeez, you're back. Pochico, let's turn ourselves into the police. What for? I haven't done anything wrong. How can you say that? We're making a living by committing crimes. We have an obligation to let the police know about what's happening in the side streets of town. We don't want any more people to end up like Zawa or Nyan for that matter. Cheese and Pochico went down to the police station to tell the police about what they'd been up to and the crimes happening in the side streets of town. More time passed, and a video became a hot topic on TikTok. I'm sorry. I won't do anything like this ever again. Please forgive me. You need to say it from the bottom of your heart. I'm so sorry. I'm still not feeling it. Please forgive me. Iwao had the word idiot on Nyan's face and taken a video of Nyan apologizing for what he had done to the homeless people. Because of this viral video, people became aware of what was happening in the side streets of our town. There's now a new movement in town to support young people in need of financial aid and emotional support. As for Iwao, he was sentenced to life in prison for his past crimes, as well as for posting that video of Nyan. And Nyan was also arrested and ended up being bullied by the other prisoners over that video of him on TikTok. We got some delicious curry rice today! Please, line up if you'd like to have some! If you'd like to take a photo with me, that'll be 5,000 yen a photo! Although Pochiko was arrested too, she was released and put on probation. She decided to better herself, and began to volunteer with Bunta at the soup kitchen to help serve the homeless people some warm food. She also got some gigs as a model, and became quite popular in our neighborhood. As for me, I was able to resume work at my company full time, and was happy to be needed at the workplace again. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.